we're going to do a deep dish pumpkin pie today. Perfect. Okay. So first off, we're going to make our pie dough. Okay. We're using the Kinnick Pastry and Pie Mix. Yep. Okay. So we are going to use two and a half cups of the pastry and pie mix. Now, if you're lucky enough to live in Edmonton, you can buy this pie dough already made. Because that would be perfect for a guy like me. <laughs> Although I do hear it's relatively easy to work with. It's very easy to work with. Okay. So we have our two and a half cups mix, and we're gonna add three quarters cup of shortening. Okay. And the shortening's been at room temperature. Okay. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix the two of these until you get pea sized lumps. And little I'm gonna round, show you what that round is. Balls. Little round balls. Okay. And this is an important stage. Now you can do this with your hand mixer as well? You can do this with your hand mixer as well. You can do it by hand as well, but it's gonna take a little bit. Okay. Okay. Not quite pea size yet, but I can see some action. Yeah, they're getting there. What this helps to do, it helps to coat the flour with the shortening yeah. and it makes for a tender, flaky crust. Okay. okay. So as you can see, we have pea-sized lumps. Yes, we do. Okay. Very so good. So we want that nice consistency. Okay. And what if you, over, do you overmix it? Can you overmix it? If you overmix it, it'll, the shortening and the flour is just going to come together and it's just going to be a paste. Okay. It is salvageable, but what ends up happening is the crust is going to be a little bit tougher. It's much harder to work with. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what we have now is we have our two eggs and three quarters cup of water. Okay. Okay. And we're going to pre-mix this just slightly. Then we're going to take the egg mixture with the water yep. and we're slowly going to incorporate it into the right. dry ingredients. Pie dough sometimes depends on the temperature of the day. Sometimes you can have luck with it. Sometimes the humidity is a little bit high. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you require a little bit less liquid added. Okay. And that's why we mix the water and the eggs together first and then slowly add them. And that way we get equal portions of both added so in. So once you work with this a little bit, then you're gonna get you're gonna get a real good feel for what how much water if you have to be a little less or right okay okay so we're just gonna turn this on low and we're just gonna slowly add the liquid okay and you see it starting to come together nicely. want it to pick up before we add more liquid because there's some on the bottom. Yep. And if it doesn't pick up, then we want to scrape down our bowl. Now the nice thing about gluten-free pie dough compared to normal is you don't have to worry about overmixing it as much. Okay. So you can see it's all starting to lift and it's pulling away from the side of the bowl. Yep. Okay. So, and it's all picked up so we know that it is ready. And when we fill it, we have a nice texture. Right. Okay. And now we didn't use all our liquid. We didn't use all our liquid. So there's a little left over. There's okay. a little left over. So you do over. have to be careful with that. Okay. All right. Next step. So. We're going to do is we're going to take our pie dough. Now, yeah. when we roll this out, there's a couple of different ways to do this. So we can use a sheet of parchment, which yeah. I have for you today. Okay. Or we can use sweet rice flour. Okay. Okay. Now, sheet of parchment paper, you can get any grocery store. Yeah. Most local grocery stores will carry parchment paper in the same places. Their Ziplocs okay. or tin foil. Now this to me it looks like it might be fairly easy to work with because then after I clean up I don't have to worry about flour anymore. 
So now that we have our pie dough done, yep. we're just going to take it out of the bowl and we're going to work it on the counter just slightly, just to make sure that everything is Well, you're the pro, so I'm going to let you work it for a minute and then okay. I'm going to see what... So as you can see, it's ah. not sticky. It shouldn't be sticky. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Yeah, looks good. And the reason why we're doing this, you can see there's a couple of little lumps in there. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we get rid of So when you feel that. those, you just kind of work through. Yeah. Okay, and don't be afraid to overwork this. Okay. So it sounds like it's actually very versatile. I mean, it can take a lot of extra mixing, a little extra working, and yeah. it's, it's not going to... Yeah, it is work friendly. You problem. can definitely okay. play around with it. Okay, so we're gonna give you a piece of dough to work with. That right. should be good for the size dish. All right. And if you have extra pie dough and you don't use it all, just put it in a bag, double bag it, and you can keep it in your freezer for up to six months. That's a good idea. So you can make a little extra at a time. Now, yeah. flatten it out a little bit. A little bit, yeah. And you wanna keep it round. We're making a pie. As opposed to oval? As opposed to square. Well, so what you're telling me is that as I do this, I should move. Yep, keep turning the dough, or on a paper it's easy because you can just keep turning the paper. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. One thing I find is when I use, try to use my handles, I get movement, but when I just put a little pressure on the pin, I get a better. Yeah. Okay. The other thing you can do is. You can tuck the piece of paper and just hold it against the counter. And try not to get a sip. <laughs> and try not to do so that. So now when this happens, now what do you do? Take it off the rolling pin, take your pie dough, I and pick it all up it and start it all over again. You betcha. Okay. And don't be afraid to do that. You can do that several times. Okay. Now if we get up to four or five, that might be... Well, if we get up to four or five, much. I'll be taking a break okay. and watching you roll some pie dough. All right. So flatten it out. And just to help you out a little bit, we're just gonna use a little bit of sweet rice and we're just gonna dust the top. And you don't wanna use a lot of sweet rice. Okay. So now, how thin do you, I mean, how thin do you want your pie dough here? I mean, it's. Well, you don't want a really thick piece of pie dough to bite into, you want the filling to be dominant. We are making, however, a deep dish pumpkin pie. So if yeah. your pie dough is a little bit thicker, that's okay. Okay. This is not round. Okay. So but any stretch of the imagination. Again. Yes, I so am. So we're just going to take a little bit of dusting flour again. Okay. And we're just going to give it a quick dust. Now, practice is going to make perfect on this, I imagine, right? You betcha. Okay. Work with me here. Tell me where to roll. I'm off so the, I'm square. What we can I just cut this thing into round? <laughs> well, we can cut the edges off, so it's not such a big deal. But we're gonna fill this. We can tell that you're really thin on the edges and you're really thick in the middle. And we wanna make sure that it's consistent. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep turning you just slightly. And I want you to roll from the middle out. Okay. So we wanna move some of that weight. Okay, good. So then we're just gonna turn in the middle out. Good. You can see that we're starting to move this out so it's not yep. as thin. Yeah. Okay. So go around one more time. Good. And the last one. Perfect. Ah, yes, that's much better. Okay. Okay. So we know that this is big enough, and if you're not 100% sure, just take your dish that you're using and just put it, and you want to make sure that you have about two inches on the edge to come up the side. Right. Okay. Now, the advantage when you do it on paper is you can flip it right into there. Okay. All right. I've done so, my job. Take your pie yep. plate. Take your paper. Put your hand underneath it. Yep. Okay. Put your hand on top. And we're just going to flip it right in. Oh, that worked quite nicely. Peel off the paper. 